this lesson I show you how to use ImageMeter Pro for blots, like for instance Western blots. We first import the image. Here we have a blot where we have three bands. If we want to have a quick estimate of the different band intensities, we first create rectangles around the bands. If we want to have equal size rectangles, we can either preset the size of the rectangle, or there is a simpler way. We create the first rectangle. The lines are too dark for us to see, so we change the line color to red. Now we create a rectangle around the first band. Then we position the mouse next to the rectangle and just click. The second rectangle has the same size. We repeat this for the third band. Now we press the Calculate button. We get the absolute density values and the values relative to the first band. This gives us a rough estimate. To get more precise values, we may want to get rid of any background. So, for this, we use color setting. We press the color set button, and now we have access to steppers for red, green, and blue. We check the check RGB box to determine the RGB values of the band. We create a rectangle around the first band. The highest RGB value is 252, 252, 252. The average value is 191, 191, 191. 191. And the background value is 92, 92, 92. We could confirm the background once more, but that is not necessary in this case. We choose a preset RGB value, which is higher than the background value and lower than the highest value. For example, we can choose 150 for R, G and B. We then uncheck Check RGB and we create rectangles again. Let's create again same size rectangles. We then press the Calculate button again. And now we get the ratios. These ratios seem to be more reasonable than before. The number 3 band has a larger density than the number 2. And of course number 1 has the largest density, since it is the reference band with 100%. We can now confirm that only the band but not the background was used for measuring the density by pressing the Threshold Image button. As you can see, only the band is red. It shows that none of the pixels which were used for the calculation were derived from the background. And this concludes this lesson.